Hi. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I was held up in court. I'm Maxie Sparks. A.J. Neely. Wow. Can I offer you something to drink? Coffee? Water? Pina colada? <laughs> no, thank you. All right. Cool. Well, why don't we just sit right here? Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh... <laughs> I understand you have a landlord-tenant dispute. Yes. I have six months left on my lease, and the new owner wants me out by the end of this month. Oh, well, I'm sure I see a lot of people, they're trying to take advantage of a, an attractive single woman. That's what I hear, but I'm a man. Back to the 40s. He's the dean, the tomato, the skirt. My girl, my chick, my baby. On a special all new Moesha. And it's new time tomorrow on UPN. It's not the first time I thought about coming back. For years, I've imagined myself out there with today's greatest players. Name it. Getting right. right, 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 right. Name it. Somehow finding very sad in the crowd. Name it. Looking for the unsaid. His record 80 DD passes. Did you say I'm Amanda? <laughs> no, I said I'm a man. No, duh. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> the AJ stands for Arthur Joseph. I work at the Queen of Sheba, where we do drag shows. Do you dress as a woman all the time? Not when I go to the gym. That's why I jog. <laughs> okay, so let's just get back to your case. Where did you get my name? I work with someone you used to date. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? Who? Jasmine Logan. Jasmine Logan? <laughs> She said you took her to Vegas. Las Vegas, Jasmine Logan. Las Vegas, Jasmine Logan. Las Vegas, Jasmine Logan. Hot tub. Oh, yeah, I'm straight. I mean, I'm cool. Uh, so I'll see you Wednesday with a copy of your lease agreement. I don't foresee any problems with the case. Thank you, Maxie. Ah, uh, no problem. Uh, uh, uh. If you have time. Well, I don't have time. No! Well, why do he ask if he didn't mean it? Men, do you think we'll ever understand them, child? I'd like to think I know a lot about them. Well, honey, if you believe that, you're just setting yourself up for a big disappointment. Men ain't never what they seem. That we can't agree on. May I use your phone to call a taxi? Oh, yeah, go right ahead. Oh! I love your shoes. <laughs> they big, though. <laughs> Ain't it hard finding big sizes? <laughs> uh, hey, Miss Lady, how you feeling? <laughs> Do you work here? Work here? I'm almost a partner. <laughs> oh. How do I get an outside line, partner? Well, see, that's right up my alley. See, what you want to do is uh, press 9 to get the outside line. And what's the rest of the number? I can take it from here. Well, did it? If you need anything, hit me on my card. I'm 
a deaf mute. See, now, now see, that's the wrong card. That's the wrong card. <laughs> yes, I'd like to get a cab. I'll hold. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Great Sparks. Uh, is there something I can help you with? No, I'm just waiting for a taxi. A.J. Neely. <laughs> um, but listen, if you want, I'd be happy to drop you wherever you're going. Didn't you just come in? Yeah. Uh, to check my messages. No messages. <laughs> well, if it's really no trouble, I could use a lift. Well, it's only fair seeing I just got one by meeting you. Sparks men as charming as you and your brother? You met Maxie? <laughs> I'm his client. And you're leaving with me? <laughs> Damn, this is the best week I've had in a long time. Did he get new vitamins or something? Oh, come on, Maxie. You don't recognize the signs. It's a woman. <laughs> Believe. You telling me you think Greg found a woman? <laughs> Hello. Hey, brother, if the show's finished, come on over. Greg couldn't find a woman in a copy of Playboy. <laughs> exactly what we're wondering what so greg what's your name <laughs> who no <laughs> whoever the woman is that's making you go what's up what's up what's ah! <laughs> <laughs> well let's just say that there is a possibility of someone oh whoa you sleep with her yet <laughs> <laughs> that is none of your business oh, he didn't sleep with her yet <laughs> No, I haven't. And when and if I do, I want it to mean something. I would like for it to be special. Oh, Greg. Greg, that's so sweet. Why can't you be sweet? Well, actually, Wilma, I wanted to ask you. I'm, I'm having lunch with my lady friend today, and I was wondering if it's inappropriate for me to bring her, you know, a gift. Oh, well. That's a good idea, brother. You give her a gift at lunch, and then you get a quick nooner. <laughs> what? Greg, I think it would be very romantic to give her a gift. Something your brother obviously doesn't understand. <clears throat> Excuse me? I don't understand? Bruh, bruh, bruh. Step over here. <laughs> I don't understand. Romantic gifts for all occasions. <laughs> Let's see here. Your first kiss, bam, you bust out a Luther CD. Okay? Your second kiss, bam, Luther box set. Okay? Now, let's see. We're going down up in here. First night at a hotel, you bust out one of these, let her know. And pray she fit it. See, breaking up, get out of my face, I can't stand you. Michael Bolton CD. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I see this. Wilma, what do you think about this? Oh, oh, I like it, Greg. It's it's not so expensive that it seems like a come on, but it's enough to show that you're very interested. How much, Maxie? Oh, it's on the house. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, I'll see you later. Oh, because I'm in love. <laughs> I 
Your client's here. I'll be right with you in a second. Mm. Uh, watch yourself around, Mr. Octopus. <laughs> I uh, brought a copy of my lease agreement. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sound the horns! Roll out the red carpet! It's the biggest premiere of the fall season! We are so totally killing. Clueless comes to UPN tomorrow! Something big has happened. 1 800 Collect has once again revolutionized Collect Calling. Introducing 10 cents a minute collect calling from 1-800-COLLECT. 10 cents a minute for collect calls every evening and all weekend long. Bigger savings for everyone in America. Whoever thought collect calling could be so cheap? 10 cents a minute from 1-800-COLLECT. Who else? There's no doubt about it. Solid antiperspirants are a great way to keep you dry. This leading clear won't keep you quite as dry, but it's clear. To get a better kind of dry, you need the best combination of both. That's new Sure Clear Dry. Sure Clear Dry is a whole new kind of antiperspirant with a revolutionary new formula that gives you the outstanding dryness protection of a solid, yet it glides on this clear. We're sure it's a better way to be dry, but draw your own conclusions. New Sure Clear Dry. It's a sure way to be dry. We couldn't bring him home, so there's not going to be a party. I don't know. The doctor said it could have been the smoking or the drinking. All I know is that he weighed two pounds, eight ounces, and he has tubes everywhere, and he's going to be in the hospital for at least a month. Thanks. I'll tell Joe. He's real upset, too. If you're pregnant, stay away from smoking and drinking. There are programs that can help. We're in this together. forces in nature the jeep grand cherokee 59 limited coming to a dealer near you somebody once said the orange is the most perfect container ever invented but my vote would have to go to the orange jello snack cup you peel it it fits in your hand and holds the most fruity refreshing stuff you ever wobbled around your mouth and every week there are five lunches to be packed up and one me to be cooled off Guess that's why they come in a six pack. Regular and sugar free orange jello snacks since 1992 and still the coolest. Uh, a real nice scarf. <laughs> Thank you. I got it from. Uh, don't, 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 don't tell me you, you, you got it from uh, cosmetics, right? You buy $60 worth of stuff you don't need and they throw in one of them. <laughs> it was a gift. Uh, uh, Mother's Day? <laughs> From your brother, Greg. Yeah, yeah, but not to celebrate any particular boot knockage. <laughs> uh, no, we just had lunch. Thank God Greg is slow. <laughs> Look, I'm not supposed to tell you I'm seeing him. He's not comfortable dating a client. Well, how do you think he's going to feel when he finds out he's dating a man? <laughs> Look, look, AJ, uh, Arthur, you, you, you're you going to have to stop this thing. Maxie, I'm very fond of your brother. I wouldn't let this go any further without telling him the truth. The truth? Are you crazy? You can't tell Greg the truth. If he finds out he fell for a guy, he'll be destroyed. He's already paranoid about his ability to land a girl. Oh, Lord and Lord and Lord and Lord. Greg, Greg, Greg. Oh, I... When the next time you're going to see him? Tonight. He's taking me to La Tulipe for dinner. La Tulipe? <laughs> La Tulipe? If Greg is planning on spending that kind of dough, he's got big plans. <laughs> look, 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 look. A.J., Arthur, Joseph, Peter, Luke, Matthew. Look. <laughs> All y'all, you got to find, when you go out with him tonight, find a reason to dump him. But make sure you dump him as a woman. What do you mean? 
I mean, be ruthless, be cruel, be sneaky. I'm not that kind of girl. You're not any kind of girl. <laughs> okay, I'll break up with you. Oh, but let me tell you something. You're not half the man your brother is. Oh. Hell, you're not half the man I am. Wilma, can I bother you for a minute? Oh, sure, it's no bother. Come on in. Oh, you're busy. Look, I'll come back when you Oh, no, 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 Greg, come in. You sure? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, look, now you're all upset. I'll just come back when I'm doing nothing. Oh, Greg, come in. Come on. Come in, come in. All right. Now, what can I do for you? Look, I got a problem. Okay. Well, what's that? Well... The woman that I'm seeing is, is incredible. Oh, well, now that doesn't sound like a problem, Greg. Well, you ain't heard everything. <laughs> I mean, I've taken a rollerblading, sunset walks on the beach, picnics in the park. Oh, well, so far it sounds like it's going really well. Yeah, well, that's the problem. I mean, we're starting to enter into a very dangerous stage, Wilma. Well, what stage is that? When they get to know me. <laughs> that women always find me dull and unexciting and predictable. No! No, 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 Greg, no! No! Greg, I think of you as, um, as, uh, steady. <laughs> Reliable, you know? Like a rock. Oh, yeah, a whole lot of exciting rocks out there. When <laughs> oh, come on, Greg, come on! If you want to hold on to this girl, you've got to be confident. You know, you got to, you got to be assertive. You got to say what you. F on there, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be assertive, and I'm gonna be dynamic, and I'm gonna be passionate. Hey, what's up? We're going down to the pizza shack for lunch. Y'all want anything? Uh, just cheese for me. You want your usual pepperoni grill? What'd you say to me? Pepperoni. <laughs> Pizza. I never like pizza. The only reason I ever ordered pizza before, because I didn't want to be the one rocking the boat. But boy, put your life jacket on, because there's going to be some boat rocking going on. I want Chinese, and I want plenty of it. I'll just get him pizza. He won't say anything. We have reservations. The name is Sparks. Great Sparks. Very good, sir. I have an excellent table right over here. Oh, that is unacceptable. No, I w we will take this one right here. Well, sir, if you insist. Yes, I do insist. And I would like some caviar, beluga, and your best bottle of champagne. Handle it. Right away, sir. You know, AJ, this has been the most terrific week of my life Finding someone as special as you I've never felt this way about anyone before Greg, I don't want to get into a serious relationship Well, I'm not the kind of guy that gives up when he wants something And AJ Neely, I want you I'm seeing someone else. Well, you're going to have to stop. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I want you to be my wife. <laughs> Greg, this isn't right. You know what? You're, you're right. AJ Neely, <laughs> will you marry me? Please, people are staring. Look, I don't care. I want everyone to know how I feel about you. I want this woman to have my baby. Greg, that's not possible. 
Oh, my God, anything is possible if two people love each other. That's just it. I don't love you. Well, baby, give it some time. Give it time. I'm sorry. Whatever, baby, 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 please don't leave me. I dumped him. Maxie, tell her I love her. You tell her. You told her to dump me? Yeah, but not like this. This is embarrassing. Well, he didn't exactly make it easy. Greg, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Baby, baby, baby. Don't, oh, don't, don't baby, go. baby, baby, baby. Let her go. <laughs> you know what? This is your fault. How in the hell do you get off interfering in my life? Look, I did it for your own good. No, 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 no. I decide what's for my own good. Don't think for a minute I don't know what's going on here. You just want her for yourself. <laughs> Believe me, I don't. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Maxie, you've been trying to bite my moves ever since the sixth grade. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Tanya Johnson. <laughs> in in Miss Andrews' class. I was pushing her up on the swings. When she went up, she was mine. When she came back down, she was yours. Right? She was yours. So I, I stole a few girls from you over the years. You stole 27 girls from you. Okay, fine. But believe me, I don't want AJ to be 28. <laughs> No, you don't. I know what you're trying to do, and you're not going to do it this time. I'm going to go over to her, and I'm going to go get her a ring, and we're going to be Mr. and Mrs. Sparks. Uh-uh, brother, 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 brother. If you give her a ring, you're going to be Mr. and Mr. <laughs> what? She's a man. Look, I don't care if she's... <laughs> she's a man? Yep, AJ is a man. He's a guy, a dude. His mama had a boy. I didn't know that. He's a client, and he told me. Oh, God. Hold on. Hold It was a very, very pretty guy. <laughs> and he was beautiful. And, and, and he had, had, a, had a wonderful sense of humor. And he could always make me laugh. <laughs> and he seemed very smart. Smart? He was brilliant. He beat me at chess every time. <laughs> Let's face it. She was a hell of a guy. You've done worse.